It was a frequent sight at the White Stripes concerts to see Jack White introduce his bandmate as Big Sister Meg. The White Stripes formed in the late 90s at a time when rock and roll was kind of in a weird spot. The dust had settled on the alternative rock movement of the early 90s, and while there still were bands on the charts from that era, it was a far cry from their heyday. Most of the popular rock songs of the time were considered pop rock and what some would call post-grunge. The White Stripes seemed like a fresh breath of air while also being a throwback, a band that paid homage to the blues. The White Stripes would go on to heavily influence the revival of garage rock in the late 90s and early 2000s, with bands like the Black Keys and the Strokes following in their footsteps. But from day one, Jack and Meg White concocted a story that they were brother and sister, despite the fact that they were married. So how did they get exposed and why did they come up with this idea in the first place? Stay tuned to find out. Hailing from Detroit, Jack White was originally born John Gillis. As a teenager, he attended a mostly ethnically mixed school. Hip hop was popular with the kids at the school he attended, but Jack didn't count himself a fan. Instead, he focused on mastering the guitar as his influences included Led Zeppelin, Captain Beefheart, Pink Floyd, The Doors, and countless old time blues musicians. Obviously, he became the odd man out of school. And music wasn't Jack's first calling in life as he would reveal to Rolling Stone that he initially had several ideas of what he wanted to do after graduating, including entering the priesthood and possibly joining the Marines. There was one moment though in White's life that he can vividly remember that turned him onto the blues. It would be a 1993 Radiohead gig when he heard Sunhouse's John the Revelator played as the intro music and it was something that caught his attention immediately. Eventually, he would get his hands on a copy of Sun House's House of the Father of the Folk Blues LP from 1965. The stripped down yet effective sound caught his ear. He would reveal in the film It Might Get Loud with Jimmy Page and U2's The Edge, I didn't know you could do that, just singing and clapping. It meant everything. I heard everything disappearing. It was as if with a single blow of the ax had opened up the world to me. After that, my life received meaning. Soon afterwards, Jack started to pick up other blues albums, and apart from playing guitar, he also played drums and was heavily into poetry. He would also attend open mic nights at a local restaurant called Memphis Smoke, where he met future bandmate and wife Meg White, who worked there as a waitress. The two hit it off immediately and began dating, eventually getting married on September 21st, 1996. John Gillis became Jack White, taking Meg's last name. Then on Bastille Day in 1997, everything changed. Meg White sat down and played drums for the first time on Jack's kit. White would tell Rolling Stone in 2008, when she started to play drums with me just on a lark, it felt liberating and refreshing. There was something in it that opened me up, he'd remember. And soon afterwards, the pair formed a band and threw around a few names to call themselves including Bazooka and Soda Power. Thankfully, the band chose the White Stripes due to the fact that their last name was White and that Meg loved peppermints. After they formed the band, the two concocted a story of them being brother and sister. But why go through all this trouble of doing that? Well, White would tell Rolling Stone in 2005 that the lie forced people to take them more seriously. If we had presented ourselves in another fashion, how would we have been perceived right off the bat? When you see a band that is two pieces, husband and wife, boyfriend and girlfriend, you think, oh, I see. When they're brother and sister, you go, oh, that's interesting. You care more about the music, not the relationship, he'd say. What's amazing is that the pair were married for four years from 1996 to 2000 and were quietly divorced without people knowing. It probably also helped that the band didn't really achieve mainstream success until after their divorce. But in 2001, the Detroit Free Press exposed Jack and Meg when they published the couple's marriage certificate. The same year, some other publications also questioned the couple's story, while others didn't get the memo. The May 11th issue of Entertainment Weekly reported the rumor is she's his ex-wife, while the June 15th issue of the New York Times announced that the couple were divorced. But not everyone got the news, as the New Yorker magazine referred to them in a 2001 story as two siblings from Detroit. But even as news reports started to publish more accounts of their marriage, Jack White denied the stories. In 2001, British magazine Enemy published a story titled White Lie in August of that year announcing the couple's divorce while also assuring fans that the White Stripes were still together and would be playing dates in the UK. White responded to the article saying, We're brother and sister. Someone started a rumor about how we used to be married and we played along with it. That was a bad idea. We get asked this all the time now, he'd respond. 
And a few months later, the White Stripes sat down with Spin Magazine, who literally asked them six variations of the same question of why they pretended to be brother and sister. At one point, Jack claimed the marriage certificate was fake that the Detroit Free Press had dug up, while also not denying that they were married. At the end of the interview, White bluntly stated, America loves gossip, everyone loves gossip. Jack and Meg would dissolve the White Stripes almost a decade after their marriage had ended, and Jack would marry model and singer Karen Elson in 2005 and they would divorce in 2013, while Meg married Patty and Fred Sonic Smith's son Jackson Smith in 2009 and they divorced in 2014. And as recently as last month, it appeared the former bandmates are revisiting this old story once again as they're set to release a greatest hits compilation with the line, My Sister Thanks You and I Thank You on the album cover. Even Jack's own label, Third Man Records, states on their website, In 1997, a brother and sister climbed into the third floor attic of their southwest Detroit family homestead and bashed out a primitive cover of David Bowie's Moon Age Daydream. If you guys want to see what's happened to Meg White and her relationship with Jack following the disillusion of the White Stripes, click the link below in the description box. That does it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like button and subscribe. We'll see you again tomorrow on Rock and Roll True Stories. Take care.